that I've been waiting for it for the longest time, of course. It, I completely forgot about how it felt to be back at home. It feels nice. It is nothing short of a miracle. A teenage girl stunning her own doctors after she was shot in the head and nearly killed. Good evening. I'm Dan Winters. I'm Erin Kiernan. Thanks for being with us. On March 7th, police rushed Kemery Ortega to the hospital from East High School. Doctors didn't know if she would survive the shooting. They feared lasting damage if she did. Kaylin Thompson was there today as Kemery proved him wrong. Yes, Dan, and it was so surreal to witness. Finally, a happy memory to add to so many painful ones. I remember everything from the moment I got out of my friend's car to going to my other friend's car. And then I saw my friend crouch. And um, since I saw him crouch, I'm like, something's going to happen. And I think that's where I got hit. And that's where I blacked out. The next thing Kemri recalls is the paramedics checking to see if she was alive, then taking her to the hospital where her unlikely recovery began. Oh, beautiful job. In a matter of days, Kemri went from the intensive care unit to rehab. And now she's finally back in a familiar space. How are you feeling? Not too bad. Walking, talking, basically the opposite of what she was told. I'm glad that the doctor had the, the wrong thoughts that something was going to happen. I'm glad that I'm, I'm recovering quite well. Um, it feels nice to, to not have anything wrong with me or anything. And I may be bald, but <laughs> may have a bullet in my head, but we're, we're doing great, yeah. As Kemri adjusts to being back home, she's thinking of her classmates who went back to school this week. I hope they're all doing good. I hope that um, this doesn't happen again because it's, it's this big scary thing. I hope it's just not anybody's school or anything that like gets shot up or anything because it's a big deal. A big deal for her would be to join her friends in class. She hopes as soon as next week. I'm excited for that. <laughs> I hope I can graduate. I hope that my story inspires people. I really hope that like they just keep their head up and that they they just stay positive and don't let things bring them down because bringing people down is not the best thing to do. And I just hope that everybody stays happy. A second East High student, 16 year old Jessica Lopez, who also survived the shooting, is still in the hospital. Kemery tells me that they got to hang out earlier this week and eat ice cream together. She says she's doing well and making improvements too. Another miraculous case there. Thank you, Kaylin, for the update.